Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. It's uh, my Saturday morning. Oh, it's, our topic is about codependency, okay? Um, and really quickly, uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. And by the way, these are my uh, Saturday morning videos, just like the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery, where I shoot three videos a week based on the questions you ask. So if you join the group today, there's a link below to join my VIP group. When you post questions in the group, I actually shoot videos based on the questions you ask. Okay, so that's Midlife Love Mastery. All right, our topic, we're gonna talk about codependency because this is something very important to me, when I say important to me, something that I've struggled with my entire life is I am a recovering codependent. And what's so fascinating, this video is going to be launched uh, the day after Christmas. And why I share this with you is that um, I'm going to be alone for the holidays. I'm alone right now. And and that's hard for a codependent. That's so hard for a codependent. I actually have that, I, I, I literally was raised with that feeling of, I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. I need you to love me to, for me to feel good about myself. And this is something that has been so deeply rooted in my life. In other words, I need others so I can feel like I can exist. And I, I, I've been ch and I literally, for my entire life, I've been chasing love. And I've chased love from a very needy and anxious place. From a very needy and anxious place. I, I think codependents are oftentimes tend to be more anxious than avoidant in their love attachment style. Now, I'm not saying that as an absolute because I'm not an absolute professional. This is just my perception on it. And if you're not familiar with attachment style, I highly recommend checking out the book Attached, Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller. <laughs> I'm also, I'm so used to talking about Amir Levine. But attachment style, and, and so in particular, anxious attachment style is very needy. And, and I've been there. I know what this feels like to be absolutely needy. In fact, my default is neediness, even though I've moved into secure. And by the way, those three attachment styles are um, anxious, avoidant, and secure. And then there's also a couple variations for each one. So, um, so why I'm sharing all this with you is I've had to, so I was in a significant relationship that ended uh, about three years ago. And I recognized that for the longest time, I operated from that place as I shared before. I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. And so these past three years have just been me devoting on me, devoting on loving myself, devoting that attention into getting into the best relationship for myself. And during the last three years, I've gone through hell. I lost my mother in uh, the winter of 2017. I lost my son, Connor, in the summer of 2018. My father decided to move back to his home country of Europe, and I may never see him again. I literally lost three-fourths of my family, or, or, th or three-sevenths of my blood family, all inside of one year. That required me to do a deep dive inward. It didn't require me. It was an invitation to do a deep dive invert. And for those who know me, know that my, when losing my son, and this is hard during the holidays. This is really hard. This is one of his favorite things was to, you know, he'd talk, he'd talk about Christmas in July. And, um, and so I say it's hard, but it's also a great opportunity to learn to love on myself. He was the inspiration for my book, what the heck is self-love anyway? What the heck is self-love anyway? By the way, I want to show the back cover. <laughs> and that's me right there. He was the inspiration for this book. And the inspiration, but he inspired me from the sense of my invitation for you is for you to love on yourself. Because that's what codependency needs. You need to turn that inward into loving oneself. Look at my mug today. Love yourself. Love yourself. And in honor of the day after Christmas, I've got my Willy Wonka shirt. <laughs> and I'm wearing this because it's a present. It's, a, it's candy the day after Christmas. That's the way we should be experiencing it. 
I say should be, that's how I'm going to do my best to experience it from that place of joy, that place of loving on myself. But to shift from codependency requires this. And I love the book by Joe Dispenza called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. If you're a, a codependent, then it's time to break that habit. It's time to shift. And this is why inner work, inner work is the salvation. It's the self-love is the antidote to chaos, to emotional chaos in life. And that's why when I wrote my book, it's an invitation to do personal development, self-help, and spiritual work, which is why I recommend so many books. I know some of you are just going, Jonathan, my library is stacking up with books, 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 books. And I'm like, yes, for $15, once a month, for $15, you can change your life. I want you to think about this. You can hire all those you know, other coaches and spend five, six, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to hope to find the love of your life when the love of your life is staring at you and right in the mirror right now. And when that's the invitation is I want you to find the love of your life. And so for $15 a month, for $180 in one year, you can find that love of your life by reading all the books I recommend. Another great book by Brene Brown, The Gifts of Imperfection. Codependencies, we, we feel like we're really fucked up in, in this feeling of imperfection. And when we can shift from recognizing that we are these beautiful, loving human beings, you are a beautiful, loving human being, and yet we're riddled with stuff. Yeah, we are. And I want to peel that away for you. I want to invite you to peel all that stuff away, that angst, that frustration, that need for someone else to love you for you to feel good of yourself, for yourself. Is this sinking in? Is this sinking in? Please post a comment if this is sinking in. If you like my shirt, please tell me about it. If you like the mug, please tell me about it. Love yourself. I want you to buy a mug that says love yourself. I want you to start shifting. That's my invitation because this desire that we need romantic love to feel good about ourselves. And I, and I love what Esther Perel says. The quality of our relationships determine the quality of our lives. The quality of our relationships determine the quality of our lives. And here's the most important relationship is with you, is with you. And you can shift this codependency. You can shift, you can be a recovering codependent like me. And I, I get it. I'm there. I understand. It's incredibly painful to feel the need for someone else to love us, to feel good about ourselves. And yet, when we can find that space in loving ourselves, we can navigate some of the most horrific things in our lives. And you all know I've suffered deeply, especially with losing Connor. And I'm able to navigate it kind of okay, okay. And I do believe it's the personal development, self-help, and spiritual work that got me there. Are you going to do that for me? Please, 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 please. Hey, if you have a comment or question, please post it below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this video, if this resonated with you, if it uh, helped. I do my best to read all the questions. If you'd like some support, my, now, I'm going to tell you, I am a coach. My coaching expertise is helping you learn how to vet for emotionally available men, for the guys that... You don't want the old Jonathan. You want someone like where I'm at right now. And there was a lot of work that got there. And my invitation is for you to find those guys. And if you need help, check out the link to a free discovery call. See if working with the coach is right for you. All right, I'm going to wrap up this Saturday morning video. And again, this is just like my um, videos in my private group called Midlife Love Master. I'm going to wrap it up as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a pillow or even a teddy bear and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. I want to thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Bye-bye now.